We need something for a snare sound. And it can't be the snare drums off the shelf in there. Oh, it should kill me if I use this pot. Jeez. Can we mount this? <laughs> I'll, I'll try. Of all of this stuff that we do, this is by far the most absurd. <laughs> <laughs> We've all heard the story about someone starting out playing drums on pots and pans. That's how they got their big start. When I started, I had parents who got me a drum set and I was super lucky to have that, right? But what if I didn't? What if I had to use pots and pans on whatever else I could find around my house? So welcome to my home. Today, I'm gonna build a drum set using household items. Let's go see what we can find. Can I just go? It's, it's all good. So I think we should start with a bass drum. Tyson's here to help me, by the way, everyone. I'm thinking for the bass drum, we use like a garbage can. By the way, we are gonna use drum mounting hardware. Got the Ami FP9. Okay, so. Do you think it should be a felt beater? We need something for a snare sound, and it can't be the snare drums off the shelf in there. There's a Bucket Boy drummer, and he what he used for a snare was bucket, like an actual bucket with nails in it. Don't ask me why I have a chain. Sometimes you gotta pull stuff. I don't know how we'll mount this. Maybe I'll just sit really low. Thinking now like uh, the hi uh, hi-hats. Well, I saw Rob Scallon use saw blades. Okay, here. Grinder blade. Maybe that could be the bottom. Does it close all the way? Not really. <clears throat> yeah. Like a, a metal like salad bowl. I love that idea. But then use a saw blade for the top. Let's get the drill out. All right, we're gonna put it on the bottom and then that's gonna go on top, yeah. Right in business. Oh. I think, yeah, we want that. That sounded good. like I. That sounds good. Uh, toms. This. This upside down. Maybe this would work for uh, another tom. Oh, it should kill me if I use this pot. Oh, come on. It's a good sound. We have to use it. I'm uh, wondering about the symbols. And I was thinking like a, a pan. Let's, Let's drill a hole it. in it. Jeez. Oh, it sounds fine, right? It's, yeah. it's, it's different, but I'm wondering how we could get it to sound with a piece of music. Okay, let's try this to sound. Let's do a uh, cool. stack of these two. Oh. Yeah, we could try, that, that might deaden it. Oh, she's real dead. I think it sounds good. I still think we could find one more crash, and then we just gotta figure out how to mount it all so it's super sturdy. So gotta... let's figure out that symbol, and then I think we're good. Microwave? Can we mount this? <laughs> I'll, I'll try. <laughs> what do you think of this? How do you think it'll sound? Mm, I don't think it'll sound very good. Yeah. You can, we can mount it right here. <laughs> okay. So we're thinking for the main symbol, just using a frying pan. Yeah. Oh yeah. That black one right there might work better for the high tom. I'm gonna put that one up right here. We'll move the ride over a little bit yeah. farther. And... So what I think we should do now is we should take this to the studio. Totally. And we should put it, we should like see if Victor's around and see if, and just ask him to come record a drum part. It's like, hey Victor, we gotta record a drum part and we just need you to get some sounds for us and see what he does. I think he's gonna be like. <laughs> Victor. Victor. Hey. I need your assistance. Oh, do you do? In the studio. Do you have a few minutes? So this is the new SQ2. The SQ2? <laughs> what the hell is this? <laughs> oh, come on. You got the hi-hats? <laughs> this is our main crash. High tom. <coughs> Mid tom. <coughs> Low tom. You got high. You know, it sounds pretty good. Sure. Augs snare, the clap stack. I really like that. Yeah, it's it cool. It might be eh? my favorite piece. Yeah. <laughs> and then the ride cymbal with the chain. A little jazz, you know, a little, little jazz. Right? <laughs> and then the Peter Stetter is a stance. <laughs> yeah, okay. It, it's functional, too. Yeah, yeah. Okay. And then the bass sure. drum. Oh, yeah. Right? Now we're talking. What is this thing? You didn't show me oh, the, the snare. Oh, the snare. Well, this is a snare slash stick bucket. 
Okay, all right. All right. Okay. Lots of cut, a little bit of jingle. <laughs> so I want you to catch that jingle. <laughs> cut the chains. Oh yeah, look at that. Right? Man, so, of all of the stuff that, like, of all of the stuff that we've done, this is by far the most absurd. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so let's get the mics. Let's do okay. it. Okay, Victor, you've put on like $3,000 of microphones. At least, yeah. <laughs> That's gonna be the top comment for sure. Yeah, exactly. So, let's get in the control room and actually okay. get some sounds. Let's do it. I think this is gonna be more in the vein of like electronic sounding drums. I'm thinking too, yeah. Yeah, like yeah. This, we're not getting that traditional snare sound, but I still want it to sound like an actual drum set. Let's have a listen and see okay. what it sounds like. Yeah. Yeah, so I would go one by one on each voice still because we have mics on everything. Yeah. Maximize the quality and impact of each of those microphones yeah. and voice. Work them, maximize, and then yeah. bring it back together and, awesome. then, and then add verb on everything and then that's pretty much it. And I know for those watching, you might get upset because we're not showing you every single step and on YouTube we just can't make this like a 60 minute video, but as a member of Drumeo, Victor has an ultimate guide to recording drums and you just go like super in depth. Um, we'll post a link to a free trial below to Drumio, and then you can go in there and actually check that out. Okay, so, so what are we going to do then? Are you start, start with bass. With bass? Okay, <laughs> let's do it. Cool, well there you go, happy face. Yeah. Sounds good. Okay, so now the snare. I don't know if there's much I would do to this mic. Is that just three mics right now? Yeah. <laughs> Okay, so since you're hitting that tom, that black floor tom a lot, I'll, yeah. I'll start with that tom. Yeah, you're not getting much tone up at all. Not resonance or sustain or anything. Compared to what I hear of, what I'm hearing of. I realize I want a more tone out of all of them. Yeah. These EQs are ridiculous. It's exactly the opposite of a tom EQ. <laughs> <laughs> like, boost where you don't boost and cut yeah. where you don't. In the hi hat. I think that's a 10 inch uh, saw blade. If it, I prefer 14 inch saw blades personally. <laughs> <laughs> so then I'm just taking one of those room mics that we had and just slamming. Or compressing it. A, a, yeah, just compressing mm. a lot to make it really dirty and then see what that sounds like as mm. well. What type of pot sound do you like? I'm not sure yet. <laughs> so What's this thing? The stack? Yeah, you want to hear it now that it's gone under Victor's magic. Well, it's not quite, it's not quite done yet, but it's quite incredible. Oh, oh yeah! <laughs> <laughs> okay, dude, this sounds incredible. Right. I swear, man. You're like a wizard. <laughs> oh, thank you. Yeah, so I think we should put it to some music. And we have some tracks from Michael Shack's Electrify Your Drumming pack. And it's like all about um, EDM style drumming. So Michael created these yeah. tracks specifically for the students going through the course. For Drumio members watching, all of these are available for download inside of the members area, so you can just go ahead and do that. If you don't have a membership, feel free to get one, drumio.com slash trial. But I'm gonna play to a few of them with the bucket kit, or whatever you wanna call this thing, and uh, see how it sounds.
Awesome, man. So thank you so much for coming out and doing this. Thank this is you. such a blast and it's so amazing. Yeah, it's so much fun. It's amazing what you can do with just buckets. And so we see drummers all over the world who you don't have the nicest kits or anything like that. And it really doesn't matter. You can make anything sound good if you want to be creative. And obviously we have some pretty good microphones and a very world-class sound engineer. But I'd love to hear your thoughts. What's the weirdest thing you've put on your kit? Have you put on buckets on your kit? Have you used saw blades before? <laughs> what is the most strange thing you've put on your kit and actually hit? Let us know in the comments below.